So in this part, uh, we will be adding a header and with navbar, a content area and website footer to the to the uh, next chest template. So we will start from the uh, place where we have uh, generated Next.js application. Now we know how this looks like, uh, which ID to use. And now we will be extending or adding some initial UI elements. Um, and uh, the final result that we want to have is this website. So this, this link will be also in the description. So uh, all relevant links to UI uh, components, uh, downloads, source codes, they are all in the, in the video description. Uh, so uh, this preview um, re represents, uh, let me dismiss this, uh, how, like what we want to get as an initial result. Um, later, we will also see how we can um, change or update this with something different. Um, but here what we have, we have header uh, with some uh, links, logo, uh, user section uh, with, with some menu items here. Uh, so this, this is a dummy links for now. Um, then we have a content area which takes a full screen. And uh, at the end of the page we have a footer element with some links on the right side. And on the left side, we have some information about the website or company or whatever we are building. So we can put some information here. So footer design for header and footer um, is uh, like quite common uh, in, the, in the websites, uh, but we can also update it and make it uh, different, use different styling, uh, which will be also part of the homework for, for this tutorial. So let's start. Um, uh, I will keep this here uh, because we will also uh, use some dependencies. We will have to install some dependencies. But before we go into this part, let's just quickly review um, where we are in terms of Next.js application. So we have here uh, a simple website uh, project, uh, which we created earlier. And uh, in this project, uh, we use a latest version, uh, one of the latest versions of the uh, Next.js with uprouting. So that's why, for example, you might see source in your uh, project. We don't have source here. We have app directory. Uh, in the app directory, we have layout and page uh, files. So this page is actually uh, responsible uh, for the main page of our website. So this is running. So if I go to Node.js, uh, so I can, I can stop this and run again. <coughs> so now, uh, so we, I, I just restarted the same website so we can see it's running. Uh, and we will make all the changes in this page.tsx file um, because this is our main page. For now, we will do also every change in line. So we will not be creating separate components. It will be all in the same file. And later throughout the course, we will be adding some more details. Uh, and, and, and also like refactoring and improving our source code. Uh, for this tutorial, main goal is to get from here uh, to having something like this uh, as a website. Uh, I will start with the simplest part. Uh, for now, which is content area. Um, uh, before we do this, let's uh, remove all these items and put placeholders for these three components, header, footer, and then content area. Uh, to remove this, again, I need to go to page TSX, uh, remove this div here, this, this element here. Um, it will complain because we need to have at least one uh, root element. So I will for now include a main uh, div. And then from now on, I will just mention a couple of comments. So th this will be our header area. Uh, and for now, I will just put some uh, text header. Body footer. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm using Cursor AI. And that's why I got some suggestion uh, to add a body and a few footers. So this is exactly what I was planning to do. So I accepted the suggestion. It now complains about 
uh, image because we don't use this, this element, this component. For now, we can ignore it. Let's go back and see. So this is what we have done so far, right? So we replaced the uh, initial uh, placeholder with our own placeholder. Uh, and we uh, uh, mentioned like on the on the top side, we will have header. Then in the middle, we will, we will have body of the page or content area. And the, at the end, we will have footer element. So let's start with improving this part. Let's up, um, updating this part. So I will use a predefined uh, template for this, and then we will uh, we will talk about this in a second. So instead of this, I will add um, a little bit improved version. We don't do much here for now. So what we have, we are introducing uh, some class names. So these names are from Tailwind uh, CSS. Uh, this is a flex component, flex columns. We say items all, the, all in the center. And then this is this is one is res responsible for the height. So it will be full screen. Um, um, and then we have H1 where we say text should be large and bold this content area as a text. Here we can put anything we want, like body or whatever. So for now we will keep content area. And let's see how this is uh, looking. So right now, what we, are have, what we have now, so we have header and footer, and then main area, which is content area. And you can see we already got this uh, scroll here because we set this to be uh, full height, but since we have additional elements, uh, page will render uh, scroller so we can see also both of them. Uh, so now let's do a bit, uh, uh, a little bit more complicated thing, which is uh, adding footer. Uh, let me go back, cursor. Again, I will put a template that I prepared earlier, and then we will discuss it in a second. So this is our template. So this this uh, this footer consists of two parts, left side and then right side, and then we wrap it with a nice uh, UI element saying background text uh, color. Uh, we also set uh, parameters for for alignment, and then to learn more, I will put these links to Tailwind uh, CSS so you can uh, get more information about this. Um, so main part that we are interested in, we, we say there will be flex. So let me just show this preview. Yeah, so th this is this is something we will need to solve in a second because uh, it's trying to use uh, an image from uh, uh, from uh, an approved uh, uh, host. We will solve this in a second. For now, just to make it work, I will disable this image and then we will get back to this. So this is how footer looks like without a logo image. Uh, and I want to just explain one uh, parameter. So we can see this whole footer is aligned in the center of the screen. So we have uh, some empty space on the left and right side. And then we have also empty space between this left and side parts. And this effect achieved uh, using these classes um, which will define that this is a flex, this is columns of the flex, and then we have to justify in between. So we need to have some space uh, between uh, this main element and this main element. Since this, this item has two elements in between, they will, will be aligned on the left side and left and right side, and then we will have some space in the between. Uh, we will be using the same uh, similar uh, uh, approach also here. Uh, which is uh, our uh, right side of the footer. So we have three columns uh, and then they have some spacing between them uh, and, and they are also placed on the right element so that's why they they on the right side of the screen. Uh, and again, this is dictated by this uh, flexed uh, CSS components uh, coming from Tailwind CSS as well as uh, alignments are defined with uh, this, this gap uh, uh, classes. Uh, so this is our footer and header. Let's now move on with a, with a, a 
this is uh, content area and footer. Now we will be doing this header uh, header part. Um, and and as we do this part, we will also cover why we don't see this image. Uh, so we will also fix this. So for header, we need to do one additional thing, uh, which is, uh, let me go back um, to the page. Uh, so we will be using header from um, Tailwind UI, which is a separate site. I have it here. Uh, Tailwind UI is a, is a collection of the UI elements we can, which we can use. Uh, most of them, they are paid. They are not free accessible. Uh, we will use a free version uh, for this navbar. So if you navigate to navbar on, on this uh, website, you'll see different examples. And we will take for now one simple example, which is uh, that we can see preview here. And if I open the code, so for um, we need to also switch to React because we want to have it uh, as, as a React uh, elements, um, and we will be using this 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 one. Uh, there needs to be some adjustments like image we cannot use image directly like we can use image directly but we want to also have Next.js optimization so we will use Next.js version of the image uh, as well as we want to have our own structure for uh, for the elements so we will be changing this. So let's start with that. And the point of, of using an external, we could also create our own uh, header. But the point with, with using external ones, I want to show that when you build a website, you can actually use different components from different uh, templates. Uh, as long as you adjust it, it, it is styling with your own style, uh, it should be okay. Uh, so this is just an example of that we can use also something from external library. Um, and then for this library, we will need to have some, some additional uh, packages. So this is two packages we will need to install. Uh, let's start actually with this. So if I go back in package.json, we have all our dependencies. And I will update this based on, uh, on our needs because we need to include two additional dependencies. So for now, I will be copy passing this. You can find all the source code in the attached uh, links. Um, yeah. So I, I, I made a couple of important changes. First, I am updating version of the next because previously I was using uh, a release candidate uh, for React. Uh, I will now uh, drop release candidate part and then uh, install uh, additional ones, which is a headless UI and then React. So let's uh, save this. Um, and first, let's see if it's still uh, working. Yes. Uh, so, so if it doesn't work, there might be a situation where this is not actually working. You might need to uh, run uh, npm install in projects directory, right? So if you do this, it will also install all missing libraries, uh, such as these two that we introduced. Uh, next step will be going back to page TSX and updating the header part. So let's do this now. So this is our headers code. As I said, I want to change uh, links as I uh, want in, in this project. So let me go back and copy past these two templates first. So I will replace these two with my own version. So going back to cursor. So this, those are uh, this is variable and this is um, a function. So that's why we need to put it uh, not in the main component, but outside in the, in the same file. Because the idea is that we can also reuse this in different components, right? So we can have the same links on the header and on the footer. So that's why we are defining this in different places. And now it's time to move a uh, component itself. Uh, so this will be until here um, and we can see it uses uh, components from uh, from headless uh, UI react so let's also copy paste these components because we just installed the package so they should be all fine so we don't have any complaints about this package because we installed it in the package JSON uh, that's why uh, it's okay 
and only complaint we have is about images uh, Next.js proposes us to change image with the Next.js image for now let's ignore this uh, advice and see the final result so this is our final result um, but the only thing we need to now fix is this image part so let's do this as well I will hide this terminal part uh, copy past f I want to first copy paste the fixed image this next year's so this will be here the image uh, let me see if there is another one yes there is another one uh, let's also change this to something else so this is another one and uh, and we wanted to also keep the this one uh, in the footer area so let's also change this here so now we have all the images fixed, uh, but it will complain because we need to allow access to this uh, additional API uh, domains, which is done in, uh, in this next uh, .config.ts. Um, so this is, I have already prepared this template. So let me use it here. So what it does, it says to Next.js that this is trusted uh, uh, domains. Uh, so we can use images from this domain, so from these hosts. Uh, and then namely we use Tailwind UI, we use Unsplash and One API Pro. So we are giving access to all these websites. So we can use images from, from them. I will refresh the page, see what we have so far. So what we did, we replaced this logo with our own logo. And it's the same also here. And this is coming, this image is coming from uh, Tailwind UI. And the way we did this, so we have source here. So th th this is this is service, uh, uh, this is my own service, by the way. So you can use this to generate images. And here I am just giving some placeholder image, basically. You can take a look later. It's not a big deal. And uh, similarly, I'm also using it for the logo part. Uh, and, and that second image, third image in this case was an image from Unsplash. So that will be it. Now we have um, two UI elements in the website, header, content area, and a footer section. It gives uh, our very basic website some professional look. Uh, and in the next section we can, we can, we will play with, uh, with some AI tools to, to see how we can improve these elements. As well as uh, later in, the, in this uh, in this course, we will see how we can extract these elements. For now, they are inline, meaning that they are in the same file, which is not the best practice from React and a Next.js perspective. So we will move them to the component section in our project uh, as a next step.